Hi, this is Richard Pearce from buildajoomlawebsite.com with a quick Joomla tip. If you've ever browsed through the list of standard Joomla plugins, you might have stumbled on one called Authentication Gmail. Let's learn what this is and two reasons why it could be useful for your Joomla site. As we explain in the Joomla Users series, which is part of our Joomla Pro course, there are three ways to create user accounts. One, create them manually here in Administrator. Two, allow users to self-register on the website. Or three, use a third-party extension to import user records from a spreadsheet. The second option, self-registration, is useful if you want to force users to register before allowing them access to certain content. From a marketing perspective, this is handy because you get to capture their email address and can then follow up with them at a later stage. The normal process for this is a user registers on the website and an email is sent to them. They click a link in that email which confirms their account and they can now log in and access the restricted content. There are two variations to this. One option skips the confirmation part, which is useful if you trust that user will enter a genuine email address or if you don't care. There is another option where you specify that an administrator has to manually approve all registrations. There is a plugin called Authentication Joomla that handles this process. Underneath this is an alternative called Authentication Gmail. This takes advantage of Google's Gmail service and can be used to allow access to anyone who has a Gmail account. Let's enable it to see how it works. Gmail users can now log into the site using the standard Joomla login module. They enter the Gmail address and the Gmail password. This is authenticated at Google and if successful they will be granted access to restricted content. One reason this is useful from a user's perspective is they don't have to go through the registration process. If they ever want to change their access password they can just do this at Gmail. The site owner still gets their email address. Have a look at the user manager and note that their email address is captured when they log in. However you don't get their name. There is a second potential benefit for site owners. Let's say a site owner only wants to grant access to restricted content to their staff. The normal process is to create an account for each staff member. But if the owner is using Google Apps with their domain, they can take advantage of this plugin. Go to the settings for the plugin and note that there's an option labelled Apply Username Suffix. Set this to Always Use Suffix and enter the Google Apps domain into the Username Suffix field. This forces this suffix to be part of the authentication. So let's try to log in now using a conventional Gmail account. The access is denied. But if I log in using an address that exists in the associated Google Apps domain, it works. Incidentally, this works if the full email address is entered or just the first part of the address. This means when you add a new account to Google Apps, that user automatically has access to the website too. 
That saves the site owner the hassle of creating accounts in two places. If you want to use this feature, you probably want to disable the standard Joomla authentication plugin. Although you can use both. You probably also want to disable public registrations by going to any of the user manager pages, selecting options, and changing allow user registration to no. This removes the create an account link in the login module. And even if someone knows this URL, they're unable to register. So there's an interesting Joomla feature to consider. There are other authentication methods available, so if you have a specific need, check out the site access category at the Joomla extensions directory. This has been Richard Pierce for buildajoomlawebsite.com with a quick Joomla tip. <laughs>